So it's been a while. Um, I was asked in the comments on how I converted my Lumina to carburetor cheap without having to go and spend $200 on a pre-made welded carb manifold. So this is kind of my my way of doing it on the cheap you know this would be good for like a one run and done i don't know if i don't know if it would hold up for multiple runs but it did work so i'm gonna kind of walk you through how it how it went so basically i mean it's painted now but i started off with this is a 3.1 not your 3100 but uh this is how i did it so Basically, you want to start with, you got to pull off the intake manifold. If you pull off the intake manifold, you're going to have these few lines in the back. You got to pull off them and then this plate here. And then <clears throat> pull off that. I think it's three bolts, pull it off. And then you pull off the intake. <clears throat> and then what I did when I had the intake off, I'm not going to take, take it all the way apart. I had the carburetor off for ease of sake. But what I did is, basically I took a 4 barrel to 2 barrel carburetor spacer, or adapter if you want to say that. And I laid it down onto the intake manifold. And then I took a sharpie inside of there, right inside of it, on both sides. And I traced it the best I could. And I just took your everyday average angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and cut out <clears throat> more or less a square I guess not quite a square it doesn't have square edges but I cut them off and then what I did after that is I took a just a piece of some thin sheet metal that I had cut it out plated the regular intake off and then I used some RTV to I guess you could say plug the air leaks or seal it off and then the next thing I did I guess is that bolt that bolt and obviously two back bolts I uh I drilled out to match the manifold and for my sake I had a problem with my my drilling marksman lineup so I ended up um JB welding that one and that one I JB weld the bolts inside of the there's bolts in there, they're inside of the JB weld, but they didn't want to stay put. Um, these ones weren't bad because I actually put the nut on the outside. But like I said, these two have bolts going through them, but they're JB welded in, so they wouldn't move. And then I ran, I guess it's, can't really see inside there, but I ran the nuts on the inside of that one there, and this one, and then on the outside of these two, I should have ran the nut on the outside of all of them. And then I RTV inside or in the gap of all the way around I mean I got I put plenty I mean more than I probably needed but I want to make sure that it wasn't gonna leak and then I bolted the four to two adapter upside down onto it and then you can see the one bolt here is still sticking out the other three are out but I just want to leave one in there for an idea of how I did it and then let me grab the carburetor and I'll show you how that went on. So I'm not going to actually bolt the carburetor on, but, you know, I mean, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. It went on like that. The four bolts bolted it down. And then to run... The throttle cable on the cheap, I mean, without buying a, you know, NLR gas pedal or, or whatever brand, this and that. All I did was I took the factory throttle cable, cruise cable, both in here. I took the factory mount and I moved it up here and drilled a hole through the, I guess, I won't say the firewall, but the tab right before the firewall. And I bolted down real tight and I cannot move that. And then uh, when it's bolted up, all I did was slid the throttle cable over the over the throttle, and then bolted down. And uh, I mean, it was pretty much that you know self-explanatory. Bolted down, 
once your car is bolted on, I mean, obviously mine's not bolted on, I can move it, I just set it on there. But once it's bolted down, it can't move, then your throttle cable allows it to pull. The one thing though, this isn't the car that I use, but just for ideas, you're gonna wanna rig up a spring, like, you know, for this one, for this one's sake, it pulls down, so you're gonna rig up a spring. I rigged one up on my other car from right here up to there. I ran actually two springs to keep it good and tight, so when I let off the throttle, it would spring back to, you know, closed. And this this lumen here, I mean, it still has all the wiring in it, and I never took the wiring out of it, didn't get around to it. But, I mean, it started, it ran. I mean, it's not the optimal way to do it. You know, if I was gonna go back and do it again, I would probably take more time and do it the right way. But, you know, if you're on a budget, you know, you don't wanna drop $200. I think that spacer was 10 bucks, I think I got it for. The carb is just a used carb they had laying around. I mean, a good carb, just a Rochester 2G. And then capped off the regular intake. I mean, there's a few lines you gotta deal with. You gotta make sure you plug off all the vacuum lines on the factory EFI engine. And like I said, this is for the 3.1, not the 3100. The 3100 would be a little different. But, you know, if I had to go back, you know, I recommend just buying a, a, re a welded up manifold that you can just put a carb on. You ain't gotta worry about leaks. But for the sake of doing it homemade, cheap, ready to run, this this worked fine. It did what it needed to do, and that's really all that matters, I guess, for um, one one run and done. Really, the main reason why I even did this though is because I uh, I ended up the when I first got this car, I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't run. It wouldn't run right. I ended up having underneath the fuse panel here. I don't know if you can see the green wire here. I had to splice that wire back together because I wasn't getting pulse to pulse through the injectors. At first I thought I had a bad injector or two, so I replaced all the injectors. Well, that didn't end up being the problem, so I was looking into it and I just happened to glance upon this wire that was snipped or cut or tore. And I uh, spliced it back together and turned the key, it started right